episode three, episode three, episode three, episode three. Welcome back to my channel and first off, yes, this is a different background because the day that I was going to this event and wanted to film this, I was so busy and I needed to spend a large chunk of my time at my gym so I was like, you know what, I'm going to make a temporary little setup and I'm going to film it there because why not? So first off, I'm just applying my base, of course, and using my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and this is damp. Now, the event was at night so I wanted to do some highlight and some contour and conceal absolutely everything out of my face. I'm using this as more of a highlighter so that's why the application is quite heavy. The event that I went to, it was the Christmas party for a modeling agency that's in the city that I live in. Well actually they're in quite a few cities around Australia but anyway I went to the Brisbane one and the dress theme of it was bathhouse and I was like how am I meant to dress bathhouse? But apparently I wasn't the only one thinking that because so many people did not turn up dressed to theme. Now I'm just highlighting with my Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector in a C shape around where my eyes and cheekbones meet and I'm going to contour. Normally if it was daytime I wouldn't be contouring and highlighting so heavy but it's night so go for it. I want my face to be like a disco ball and sculpted chiseled cheeks because why not? Now I'm just going to get started on my eyes and of course I'm using my makeup weapons brushes again. So taking my Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette, I'm going to be using Skimp across my eyelid. Recently I've been liking adding quite light colours across my eyelid just to make it pop a little more. In the crease I'm going to be applying the colour Cover. Then I'm taking my blending brush. I swear this thing is the best. Just with my smudging brush, I'm gonna take that same color cover under my eye and blend it out again. Now on the blending brush, I just popped a little bit of the color undone and I'm just gonna pop that in the corner of my eyes before I do my liquid eyeliner. I'd love to know guys as well, I've been trying to look at more cruelty free makeup brands to replace some of the product that I have when it does run out. What are some of your favourites? I'd love to know before I start doing more of my own research. Just taking a little bit of mascara and I'm going to pop that on before I put on my false eyelashes. The false eyelashes I'm going to be using, they're from Makeup Weapons as well. She's actually coming out with a couple of products, so the brushes of course, the eyelashes, and then the eyelash curlers. Just taking the smudging brush again, I'm quickly going to pop some of my Becca highlighter on the inner corner of my eyes. This step is totally optional, but it's something that I've been finding really, really cute lately because I do have some natural freckles, but of course they don't show through my makeup. So I sometimes think it's kind of cute to draw some freckles on and I just use two different colored browns and I blend out the dots with a beauty blender. I try to focus some of the more prominent ones where my actual freckles are. But again, totally optional, not a step that you have to take, it's just something that I think looks really cute. Next I'm taking this Maybelline lipstick, it's alright, it's not normally the nude colour that I would use but I ran out of my other one and I couldn't find it, I don't really recommend that one. Now for my hair, because I have extensions, I do have to actually straighten it every time I want to go out somewhere, just so that everything's sitting nicely. So I came across the Citroen Co hairbrush, it's one of those hairbrushes that straightens as you're doing your hair at the same time. And I was like, you know what, I'm busy, I'm a busy person, this could be a good idea for me to have one, and you know what, it is, and I'm going to keep this at the gym because it's just so convenient. So you can see how easy it is just to neatly run it through my hair. I'm pretty sure I had mine set at 195 degrees Celsius when I was doing this. 
I found it was easier when you put the brush underneath the hair strands and that way you put more pressure on the hair, it takes less work to get it straightened. But for me it's so convenient and I love it because it doesn't take me very long to do my hair when I use this thing. As always, I'll try to list things in the description for you guys if you want to know where I got them from. This is a top and pants. The top is from Shopo and the pants are from H&M and then my shoes are from Zalia. So I don't know how to dress bathhouse so I thought this would do. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night or whatever time it is where you are and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!